Well, despite the recent volatility on Wall Street, the U.S. economy is on sound footing, while some other economies are struggling. So what's the role of the U.S. from a global perspective? Steve Leisman looked for some answers at the American Economic Association's annual conference today in Boston. Policymakers and leading economists at the American Economic Association's annual meeting in Boston, the profession's biggest gathering, generally gave the U.S. economy a good diagnosis, believing it can avoid the ailments afflicting weak economies overseas, like Europe and Japan. We have had an uneven global recovery, to be sure. Uh, despite these sometimes sour attitudes in this country, the U.S. continues to dominate. Uh, industrial economy success. Even with the downside risks faced by the American economy over the next year, it's still likely to be the relative winner of the party. San Francisco Fed President John Williams says he's factoring in that overseas weakness in his decision about whether to raise interest rates. But he says the U.S. is still on track for a mid-year consideration of those rate hikes. The U.S. domestically has a lot of momentum. You know, I think a lot of tailwinds to the domestic side. The tailwinds that we have uh, in terms of energy prices, in terms of momentum, in terms of jobs, kind of outweigh those uh, weakness from abroad. But Boston Fed President Eric Rosengrand chimed in, when the Fed starts hiking rates, it can take its time because of low inflation. We may be able to be a little bit more patient than we've been in the past. As long as we're experiencing very low inflation, there's no reason for uh, the path to be particularly abrupt. The big issue is Europe, and expectations are clearly for outright quantitative easing from the European Central Bank. But there's a lot of concern that with interest rates already low, more QE won't do much good, especially without deeper economic reforms to liberalize European economies. And those changes could help out the U.S. economy. Although it might be able to withstand European weakness, it would still benefit from European strength. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman in Boston.